Hey everybody, it's Jason Creel and this is the Lawn Care Life. I'm going to go over my lawn care mowing setup with you, show you my equipment, talk to you about what I like about it, what I don't like about it, and uh, let's do that right now. Okay, so some of you follow the channel, I've owned a couple of mowing businesses and now I'm in the spray business. So here's my big spray truck, I've got this F-350 and uh, that's what I primarily do for a business. So I'm going to talk to you about uh, why I got this mowing setup and what I like and what I don't like. Uh, I don't like not having a trailer. And so the other day I went and bought this trailer and what I'm doing is one of the main reasons I bought it is because I've started a second YouTube channel. I've been on YouTube for 11 years with Lawn Care Life and I wanna keep that going just like it is. But I started a second channel just launched the other day called Fix A Lawn, Fix dash a dash lawn and i uh, would appreciate you subscribing to that it, i didn't realize how hard it is to get a youtube channel started mine was 11 years old so i i guess i've been doing it a long time just didn't think about starting a new one when you post a video and it gets hard to no know views <laughs> so uh but i've gotten into the um overhauling high grass mowing mega makeover kind of videos and so what i did i did i went and bought this trailer uh, because I had the mower, the trimmers, and the blower. And so it's been an adventure getting out there and mowing lawns. And I'm going to be posting a lot of content with that. So uh, my mower is the Toro 2000 HDX, as you can see here. This is a 60 inch. So I'm primarily using this in my own property. I've got, uh, I've got about four acres, and it's relatively flat. And uh, I, I do like this mower. If I could improve it on one thing, I think the hydraulics um, are not like super powerful on, on hills. I've had some, I don't know how to explain that. I'm not sure exactly all that. So if on a flat ground, it is, you know, great. Going down a hill, I've had some mowers that, that are able to hold a hill a little bit better, turn a little bit better. But overall, it has been a great uh, mower. I've got, I like the, uh, the overall look of it. You see the, the wheels are pretty cool. It's got, I put the advanced chute system on there. I like these chute block deals. So this one, you know, you pull it to you and it opens up and you can side discharge or you can close it. I mostly did that. I mostly do it to keep from like throwing um, rocks at, at windows and things like that. So I like to keep it closed. Now if I'm out wide open, sometimes I'll just open it up and let it fly. So I like having that versatility. It's got a Kawasaki engine on it. Not exactly sure what size engine. It's a FX 730V, so I'm not sure how many horsepower, but um, definitely feels like it's got plenty of power. Got a couple other, you know, just cool features I don't necessarily use a lot, but USB, if you want to charge something up, it's even got LED lights on the front, so pretty cool uh, features. Again, I don't mow grass at night a lot, but um, overall good mower. Now, my trailer is a 6 by 12th uh, single axle and i've found that utility trailers they just don't they hold their they do hold their value very well so i find i just rather buy a new one a lot of times because uh now they definitely gone up i paid like 1500 and something for this one the only thing i had maybe it was 1625 after i added something because uh, i got them to put a, a couple of extra support welds in here to hold the gate up a little bit better so uh, this is a place I've bought trailers from before. It's called Lone Wolf Trailer. They're a local company in Alabama and I just go buy it straight from the dealer. But they make uh, good trailers. I, I've been, uh, like I said, I've had three or four of them before. So uh, I like the six by 12. Now me just hauling one mower, but I think if you had two standers, um, you could put that on here. Obviously one zero turn with a push mower, you could definitely put that on here. So six by 12 is a good size. If you're gonna go with two, full length sit down zero turns you you probably need at least a 14 foot i would imagine all right the blower i just bought this this year this is a red max ebz 5150 now i've had several i've had some bigger red maxes they make uh, at least three that are bigger than this one i had like the 6500 series or 6150 i don't know what they call it the 7000 series and then they've got the 8000 series um so this one is, is sort of a mid-size, but to me, it's, this is perfect. Just me blowing off driveways and sidewalks. If you're gonna be doing big leaf cleanups, I would definitely get something bigger. One of the things I love about Red Max blowers, and this is what I'm gonna tell you what I don't like about something else is, I bought one of these about eight years ago, and I bought this one, and it looks exactly the same. I can't tell any feasible difference, difference between this one and the one I bought eight years ago, and I've had two or three of these. 
And I think that's great because it's a great blower and why mess with it? I mean, I just, I love the Red Max blower. It's what I've pretty much always used for the past 15 years. Uh, and I've never been given a reason to change. So, I, so anyway, I wish they wouldn't mess with stuff. So, uh, you know, and that leads me to what I'm not happy about is on my trimmers, I've for years been uh, a Husqvarna trimmer guy. That's what I, I prefer to use. And so this is the one I've had for several years, a 525 LS. And there's some things I like about it. It's got some kind of ergonomic handle that's supposed to kind of vibrate a little bit to take some of the vibration out of your hand. Uh, so that can be good. I, I put, this has got the traditional Husqvarna head on it. I usually swap those out for a speed feed head. I actually just ordered a replacement speed feed head yesterday. So, uh, so this is the 525 LS. It's got good power. Uh, the one I really loved was the 326 LS. It was, it weighed only nine pounds. It's super light, but also had, had pretty good power. And I just thought it was a great uh, balance of, of power. And it, it, you could flip them upside down. They'd work well for edge and stuff. I, and I think that's great. This one in particular was giving me fits the other day. I don't know what it is. Like when it, it'll crank, but it's not, it's not getting enough gas. I constantly have to choke it and it'll run good for a little bit. And then it'll start bogging back down like it's going to die. And I honestly, I was... I'm trying to hopefully forget that I left it in front of my truck where I could actually run over it the other day. It was just so I what I did I had I've got this one and it's a smaller, you know, kind of a light commercial grade trimmer, I guess you'd say it's the 322L and it's 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 pretty good. It doesn't have as much power which as it wish it did, but I took the the head, the speed feed head I just switched the heads, put the speed feed on this one because this one's actually running good. And so I guess I'm going with this one. This one, I'm going to see if I can donate it to somebody who has more patience than I do because I don't want to pay to get it fixed. And uh, it does work, probably just needs something done to it. But I, I'm sick of uh, looking at it because it did me wrong the other day and been doing me wrong for a while. But anyway, the 326 LS was great. That was my point. I wish they'd have left it alone, alone like Red Max did their blowers and just keep making the 326 LS. But for some reason they got rid of it. And I don't like that. Now I've got like Milwaukee's giving me the, uh, I've got like their multi-tool set thing. It's battery powered, so we got the hedge trimmers, pole saw, and all that. And that's really good. I don't have that to show you, um, but they actually work good. I got one of my buddies in line, but he's always wanting to borrow my hedge trimmers because it's a big articulating hedge trimmer and pole saw, and you can swap it out, and the batteries um, hold up pretty good. So. Uh, that's what I use if I need to trim hedges or use the pole saw or anything like that. It also has a stick edger attachment. A lot of times I just edge with the, with the string trimmer, but if I need to use that stick edger, I can do that. So I think one thing you're going to notice about this is uh, the 60 inch mower it, is not bad about scalping. I think you can get by with the 60, especially if you got relatively flat turf. Uh, but now if you got a factory, if you're just going to have one mower, how many small backyards and things like that you got to go through so you know 60 may not be the, the right choice for you if you got small gates just noticed something got a wire right here that's uh broken and i'm not sure exactly what it does but the mower works so probably should get that looked at so if if you're like using lawn care for a business i i like a 52 inch mower or 48 because it, it's a little bit more versatile than the 60 but if you got a lot of big properties or if you got multiple mowers you can have a 60 for bigger properties and then maybe a 48 or a 42 or something like that for uh, some of the smaller ones but anyway for me out there mowing four acres at my house this mower is awesome um, for that like I said I gave my advice on the trailer enclosed versus open I, I've had both I kind of like the open because it's just easier access enclosed obviously gives you better security and weather protection things like that but they harder to get in and out of them sometimes and then it sure is hot in the summertime so uh, I don't have any racks on this yet I, I, I might uh, I might get some trimmer racks and stuff we'll see but for now I've just been throwing those trimmers on the back of my truck and a blower on the trailer and, um, and no, nothing's falling off yet so that's good I love the Red Max blowers okay so I'm not I, I don't really interested in changing on that I'm not saying I wouldn't ever try anything different but the trimmers I, I've always I've been using the Husky trimmers for a long time, but I'm I'm the point where I would consider another trimmer. So if you have something in uh, that you love, a brand that you like, or a specific model, um, you know, please let me know because I wouldn't be I would be open to possibly 
looking into a new trimmer because I, like I said, I got that smaller Husky and it's fine, but um, if I, it's not gonna last forever and I might be open to another brand since they did away with my favorite one. Let me know what you think about my setup here. I uh, would encourage you to go check out my other channel. I have it popping up for you now, Fix a Lawn and would appreciate your support on there. Like I said, I'm gonna keep Lawn Care Life true to what it's been as my plan. Keep talking about uh, weed control and, and growing a lawn care business. The fix line is gonna be the, the extreme makeovers, tall grass, and uh, like I said, I could use some support getting it up and getting it running uh, out there mowing and, and getting some new video content created. If you're thinking about getting into lawn business, whether mowing or weed control, I've got a lot of resources over at Lawn Care Life. You can check those out. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, I encourage you to do that. And we will see you guys in the next video. Talk to you later.